Good evening and uh, welcome. <clears throat> right, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to do the the Garrard RC12120 Mark II changer. Now this was done a while back but the problem it's got is it sticks has a tendency to stick on records and tonight we're going to try and find out why I've got an idea why and what you do to get the turntables off is you lift it up like that hold it with one hand and then just get something it just breaks the taper all it takes right right the mat on this is a good uh, a good mat as well so there's nothing wrong with that so we're gonna and we have uh, we have a new cartridge in this we're just gonna take the stylus out we're not gonna take the cartridge out because it's a lot of pissing about getting it back in because you can't lift the arm all the way up I think there's a way of doing it I think you have to I think there's a way of doing it but I generally take the arm off them <coughs> and that is the same as the BSR ST1617 stroke 17 style as it will fit now what we're going to do, we're going to take, now the problem I, f the problem I think we've got, see the arm slides there nicely, that's good, so it's not there, the problem is in here, in this mechanism, so what we'll do, we'll go to camera 2 I think, I think it's camera two we're going to be wanting. Uh, a bit glary, but there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. So, what we need to do is disconnect everything. Disconnect everything. That connects the bottom, it connects everything to over here. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem, so let's get the screwdriver out. The one that usually does that job. There we go. <coughs> Alright, so we want to take this one here off. Because we know... Ouch! We know the mechanism for driving, for the, we know the arm and everything. That's all okay. So what we need to do is take these tone wires off. We'll just clip them because we'll probably do a better job putting them back on if we just clip them. So we'll just clip those. Uh, I'll just clip them. And them two go together. There we go. That's the torn arm wires out. Right, and this one here. Oh, we'll clip that as well. We'll clip that as well. Because we'll clean all this. We've got a resistor there, we'll take that out. Might give us a bit more volume. Taking that out. <coughs> right, so basically, 
we need to disconnect that and move it out of the way. There we go. And this has got a lot of, I mean, then, Come here, you. Right, the clips are all pretty much the same size. That's the. We call it probably didn't have to even take that out. Pretty clean anyway. It's out now, isn't it? This needs to come out. We don't lose our springs. That's there. And I think we need this one off here for the velocity trip. We'll hold up the velocity trip from there. We'll also lift that washer out because don't want to lose anything, do we? Because now for the velocity trip, right? And I will look at the lubrication chart for this. I mean. We've got a spring there. Where does that spring go? I don't think that goes to. I think that goes. Yeah, that spring goes to that. I'm just looking. So, what we'll do next. What we'll do next, we'll take, that won't fit, so. Get our pliers. And. Yeah, it just had a what do you call it? It's I should dig out some stuff actually, some tools, so I don't have to use pliers. I can use proper spanners and stuff. I've got them all somewhere. But for this, for tonight. I'm hoping now that's going to drop out, which it has. Get me washers. Let's just let that drop. There we go. Get the washer off there. Put me hand under to catch it if it's going to drop. Now I need to get this out. That's come out, that's no problem. 
needs cleaning anyway. falling off. I will need to get the manual out for this. There we are. And to be really honest with you, If I can stop that all falling off, I can put that over there because we can move that out of the way. Put that there. <coughs> now, the issue, I think. is all in this unit here that doesn't feel as free as it should be so what we're going to do we're going to do that crap and all that works normally Yeah, that's right. So what we'll do, we'll just pull off. Because no, it doesn't. Well, it does. We have to get this off first. We have to get the spindles out first. So what we'll do? There's only one screw in this, so we can have two screws. Because we're gonna. on there as well but you have to I'll tell you what I'm going to do because that could open a real can of worms let's tighten that back up because that could open a real can of worms I'm going to take it off I'm going to undo it from the bottom here if I undo it from the bottom here Yeah, I'll pull the pin out. Yeah. Oops. There we go. So I should be able to pull the pin out. See, this should pull out. There you are. If I lift that like that, lift that out, I mean that's all being done as you can see, it's all lovely and free, but under here is where the bit of dirt. This all needs to be cleaned. certainly needs to be cleaned and I need to check this is a wire clip on this make sure it doesn't fly into the next county and this has got oil on it and I need to check whether it should actually have oil on it so what we'll do next we'll take that out and put that there there's two parts to that lift this out lift this out 
and that's the top of that strip we can clean that now so if I get some IPA there we go and I'll look at the lubrication chart and I will re-lubricate it there we go I think the problems caused through this is record sticking it's not caused through it's not caused through this grease directly but it's not gonna hurt to, to pull it off and give it a good clean I mean I would like an ultrasonic cleaner but I've not got one all these bits in and just let them cook for a bit and take them out I mean this is let's dry that off I will look at this to see if it's lubricated on the actuation pole and see see none of that there will be causing the problem the problems on the top here I've had it on my mind for a few weeks to do this. But I'll just think I mean it's I mean look at that dirt that's on there an ultrasonic cleaner I get that off actually taking the plate in so getting the plate in down there as well which I'm not bothered about and that is a cam follower which is dirty but it's free here I will look at the lubrication chart so it's probably going to be a two part video of this because I will look at the lubrication chart and I'll come back when I've looked at it to see what 
you actually lubricate and what you don't and some stuff you don't and some stuff you do and I'm not completely sure with this so so if I now leave this all as it is I'm going to leave this here and this will be part one and I'll come back and do part two when I've looked at the lubrication uh, chart. <coughs>